Okay, Pastor James, let's practice your lines one more time. Okay, let's see. It's, ha-ha, that didn't hurt at all. Perfect. Right? Okay. So now I just want you to say it with a little more feeling and gusto, because the kids are going to pummel you with their Nerf guns, and you're just going to take it there with your shield of faith, okay? So put your shield up on the count of three. Wait, One, oh, I didn't get a shield. two, oh, I didn't three. Get a shield. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Well, today we're going to study about another piece of armor called the Shield of Faith. Now, in Roman times, the Roman soldiers had quite large shields. Actually, they were bigger than this. And the Roman soldiers could see their own shield that they were using, and they could see the fiery darts and that were being hurled at them by their enemies. But with us, it's different. We can't see our shield or our enemy. So the Bible tells us to take up the shield of faith to protect us against the fiery darts of our enemy, Satan. So faith is our huge shield. You know, we can't see faith or God or our enemy, but faith in the Bible means trusting and believing in God even though we cannot see him. The Bible says faith is being sure of what you hope for and certain of those things that God tells us that we cannot see. Our faith can cover us and protect us from the enemy like a shield, not because of the power that's in us, but because we put our faith in Jesus. Jesus has all the power, and when we put our faith in him, he can protect us from every attack of the enemy. You know, when you're supposed to be doing your homework, or any other thing that you have to get done, and you suddenly hear a little voice or get a temptation not to finish your work, Need to take out your shield of faith. Hey, no more homework. Stop tempting me, Wally. So, don't lay your faith down, but raise it up. Start telling Jesus that you trust Him. Keep coming to church and Kids Connection. Keep reading your Bible and praying. You know, Peter and John knew how important it was to have faith in Jesus and to keep their faith shield high. They knew that the best thing they had to offer anyone was not themselves or even the money they had. It was Jesus. They knew exactly who Jesus was and the kind of power Jesus has. Peter and John had spent a lot of time with Jesus. They knew him very well, and they knew that Jesus had changed their lives, and he could change other people's lives, too. Okay, let's look at our Bible and read a story about how Peter and John used their faith in God. One day, Peter and John were going to the temple. They saw a man who could not walk. He had been unable to walk his whole life. The man was begging for money because he couldn't work to make money to support himself. But Peter told him, we have no silver or, or gold, but we will give you what we do have. In Jesus' name, stand up and walk. Immediately, the man jumped up. His legs were strong. He began walking and leaping and praising God. All the people who saw him were so amazed. Peter told the people, we didn't make this man walk. Jesus did. Many more people 
believed in Jesus that day. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that we can totally trust your word, that you love us, that you forgive our sins, that you are always with us. And we pray that you would help us to use our shield of faith and share it with other people this week. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, he stopped distracting him. <laughs> <laughs>